I offer my humble pranam at the lotus feet of Bhagavan Sri Satya Sai Baba. Welcome to video lecture on microprocessor laboratory. In the previous lecture, uh, we have discussed about uh, segmentation. So what is the meaning of segmentation? Why we need segmentation? So we know that if you go for 8086 microprocessor, we have 20 address lines but we have 16 bit register. It is not possible to store 20 bit address in 16 bit register. Then we have to go for segmentation means with the help of 16 bit register, we can able to, we want to address, we want to address one MB of memory. That's why I have to go for segmentation. For more details, we can go through lecture seven. Uh, in this case, uh, in, in this lecture, I am going to explain how to generate the physical address. Uh, we know that the physical address, what is the meaning of physical address? Actually, it's called a 20 bit address. The 20 bit address actually on the address means of 8086 processor, so decoded by the memory tracing circuit. Because of 20 bit, then what is the range? The starting address is 0, 0, 0, that is 50H, followed by 5FH, that is FFFFH. Therefore, this is a starting address, this any address. Therefore, the total address range is this. Uh, the memory capacity is 1 MB. Therefore, starting from here to here, it is going to address the 1 MB of memory. We are going to decide the main memory capacity of 8086. That is decided by address lines, address bus. If you go for 8086 processor, we have 20 address lines, 2 power 20. Therefore, the main memory capacity is 1 MB. Therefore, uh, the physical address means that is 20 bit okay what is offset address that is address given by the individual block that is the allocation in a 64 kilobyte segment segment okay which range from 0 to fffh the starting address is this and ending address is this and here we have three terms the one is called a physical address the segment address offset address and logical address what is logical address the segment address with offset address is called logical address. The size of logical address is 32 bit. 16 bit segment address, 16 bit offset address put together that is 32 bit. What is segment address? It gives the block address. The block address remains same throughout that uh, block. Actually the size of each block is 64 kilobyte. Therefore more for more details uh, they can we can go through the lecture uh, 7. Actually this is lecture 8. Therefore, go through lecture uh, 7 for more details about segmentation. Uh, in today's lecture, I am going to explain how to generate the physical address by using logical address. Okay, we know that this is the just block diagram of our uh, processor, microprocessor. Uh, this is inside the microprocessor, we know that we have 14 registers. That is AX, BX, EX, DX and SI, DA, SP, BP and four segment register and instruction pointer and flag register and what's the main memory capacity we have 1 MB that's the main memory capacity is 1 MB that is decided by address bus therefore if you go for 8086 we have 20 address lines 16 data lines and many more control signals so how to transfer data from here to here the processor has to place 20 bit address and address bus address bus carries the address that is given to the decoder so decoder select only one location out of 1 million Suppose if you want to transfer data from 21,000 to processor, the first 21,000 has to be placed on the address bus. Then address bus carries this address that is given to decoder. Decoder selects uh, this location, 21,000. Then control unit makes RD bar low, WR bar high. Then it reads the data or instruction from the specified location and place the data or instruction on the data bus. Data bus carries the data and brought inside the microprocessor. The problem here is the address is 20 bit but the size of all the registers are 16 bit. We know that it is not possible to store 20 bit address 20 bit address in 16 bit register. That's why we are dividing this physical address into logical address. We are dividing this physical address into 
logical address what is that logical address the logical address consisting of two things one is called as a segment address the another one is called as a offset address okay therefore assume the block address actually i'm talking about uh, data segment data block therefore assume the ds is 2000 that segment address then offset address is 1000 okay actually physical address is 21000 therefore we are going to divide this into two parts one is called as segment address the another one is offset address because it is not possible to store 20 bit address in 16 bit register therefore for this particular address say segment address is 2000 the offset address is 1000 so inside the microprocessor there will be a address generator it generates it generates or it converts the logical address into 20 bit physical address that physical address is placed on the address bus then it select that particular location then we can transfer data from memory to processor just uh, can see here how how to generate the physical address say here segment address colon offset address for this whole thing we can call call it as a logical address what is the size of logical address 32 bit 16 bit segment address plus 16 bit offset address put together we can call it as logical address with the help of this logical address we have to generate the 20 bit address that's a physical address that it is actual address with the help of this we can able to select the memory location either it may be a ram or it may be rom in general it's a main memory therefore suppose here if we want to transfer data from memory to microprocessor the segment address must be in ds segment address must be in ds then offset address may be in bx or si or di okay if you want to transfer instruction from the main memory to the processor the segment address of the program must be in cs the offset must be in ip suppose if you want to transfer the data temporary data which is available in the stack then the logical address means our segment address of the stack must be in ss the offset address may be in sp or bp therefore here we have totally four addresses the one is segment address 16 bit offset address 16 bit physical address 20 bit then if we combine segment and offset address for that we can call it as logical address the question is how to generate 20 bit physical address by using 16 bit segment and 16 bit offset because we can store this easily because the size of segment is 16 bit the size of offset address is 16 bit we can store separately but it is not possible to store 20 bit address in 16 bit register either it may be segment register or it may be an offset register it is not possible to store 20 bit <coughs> 20 bit address that's why with the help of this address generator address summer we can able to generate 32 bit logical address into a physical address in another way with the help of 16 bit register we can able to address 1 mb of memory for that we can call it as the segmentation so in this lecture i'm going to concentrate on how to generate a physical address 20 bit physical address using a segment and offset address so just here i'm going to consider this example how to generate the physical address of data suppose i want to transfer data from memory to microprocessor or from microprocessor to memory by the time we somebody has to be there to generate the actual physical address see here uh, here the segment address of the data must be in ds ds 
okay here what happened in this case 2 3 4 5 is the segment address so ds contains that number is in the form of binary that is 2 is nothing but 0 0 1 0 so 3 means 0 0 uh, this is 3 0 0 1 1 3 that is 4 means 0 1 0 0 4 5 means 1 0 1 0 1 so here what happened if you want to generate physical address the content of segment address is copied down to a shifter which is available inside the address generator suppose if you go to the previous slide within this inside the address generator we have a 20 bit shifter that is a 20 bit shifter therefore what is step number one it transfers the content of segment register to the shifter so what is the size of segment register 16 bit what is the size of shifter 20 bit it's 16 bit it is 20 bit first it's going to transfer the content of segment register directly into shifter now here it will shift this segment address towards left four times so one time then once if you shift the zero is uh, enter into right side then second shift third shift then fourth shift now here what happened two three four five becomes two three four five zero that is 20 uh, 16 bit becomes 20 bit that is 16 bit becomes what 20 bit what is step number one see here it will transfer it will copy the content of segment register to the shifter shifter okay what is this here we can see once again here what happened this side we have four the bit that is empty then it will copy the content of ds or any segment register in general that comes to 20 bit shifter then it's going to shift this 20 uh, 16 bit towards lab four times that will 16 bit becomes 20 bit see here first time here zero, second time two zeros, third time three zeros, and four times four zeros here. Therefore, it's going to insert four zeros from here, from the right side, and therefore the 16 bit, where 16 bit becomes, 16 bit becomes 20 bit. If it, if it is two three four five, that becomes two three four five zero. Suppose if it is two thousand, that becomes twenty thousand. If it is one thousand, it becomes ten thousand. If it is two one zero zero, that becomes twenty one thousand, something like that. Are you understood this topic? Any doubts here? Okay. This is step number one. What is second step? Then here, then if you want to generate the physical address, okay, physical address. First, what is the first step? Transfer the segment uh, content of segment uh, register to the shifter. The shifter will shift towards left. How many times? Four times. That becomes twenty bit. This twenty bit number is added with offset address. Here assume the offset address is available in SI that is 2050. This 2050 is added with 23450. So that gives this number that is the actual physical address. That is the actual physical address. Just expand in terms of binary. Suppose I am going to repeat same thing in terms of hexadecimal. So just look here how to generate physical address. Therefore DS contains the segment address 2345 okay then inside the shifter inside the address generator the inside the address generator there will be a shifter the size of shifter is 20 bit now it's going to shift this number towards left that is 2345 becomes 23450 it's nothing but 20 bit it's in hexadecimal form now this 20 bit is added with offset address assume the offset address is available in si therefore that is 23450 here 2050 that is 0 plus 0 0 5 plus 5 10 now what is the hexadecimal equivalent of 10? A. That is 4 plus 0, 4, 2, 3 plus 2, 5, and 2. Now what is the physical address? 2, 5, 4, A, 0. This is the way of generating the physical address. So in this case, I am talking how to generate a physical address of data. Physical address of data. Okay. Then that is 8086 fetches the data from data segment that is a data block the logical address of data is given by ds ds that is data segment and any one of 16 bit registers si di bx okay ds colon si or ds colon di or ds colon bx that gives the logical address with the help of this we can able to generate 20 bit physical address the physical address for the location of the data is generated by shifting the ds left one x to z or four bit 
in terms of binary or we can say one x set a one x day set in terms of hexadecimal then adding it to the si or di or bx which gives the final 20 bit address okay uh, here so once again i'm repeating same thing how to generate physical address of data okay therefore we know that it is not possible to store 20 bit address in 16 bit register so 21234 that is the physical address this is the actual address if you want to transfer this data to microprocessor so we have to provide this address but we know that it is not possible to store this 20 bit address in 16 bit register we have 14 registers in, inside the 0086 microprocessor all are 16 bit in size there is no even a single say, single register of 20 bit size all are 16 bit that's why we are dividing we are storing this 20 bit address in this form the segment and offset therefore who is going to provide the segment address of data memory that is ds who is going to provide the offset address of the data memory either it may be bx or it may be si or it may be di okay that is decided by type of addressing mode suppose base addressing mode we can go for bx if it is index addressing mode we can go for si and di now what is first now first step uh, here first it is going to transfer the content of ds to shifter the shifter will shift this information towards left one x they said therefore 2000 becomes 20000 this number is added with offset address a one two three four the offset address may be in bx or it may be in si or it may be in di then that becomes what 21234 it's going to add in terms of hexadecimal uh, then how to transfer the instruction from the main memory to processor once again you also have to generate the physical address c here that is cs gives segment address 3000 and ip gives the offset address of the program that we will going to give the segment address of the program code segment and we will going to give the offset offset means address of the individual locations within this block okay the size of this block is 64 kilobyte therefore the segment address is constant throughout this block address to 3000 is constant only this address is varying that is offset address therefore somebody has to be there to give the offset address and somebody has to be there to store the segment address in this case if you go for a code memory the segment address will be stored in code segment cs register and the offset address will be stored in instruction pointer ip therefore the size of code segment is 16 bit and size of offset address is ip is 16 bit put together is 32 bit that is called a logical address therefore same procedure is going to transfer the content of cs to the uh, address somewhere within the address somewhere at the generator we have shifter it is going to shift this number towards left four times therefore 3000 becomes 30,000 that 30,000 is added with 1 2 3 4 offset it is going to add in terms of XR that becomes 31,234 it is the actual physical address of that particular location now assume here there will be some instruction like RDL comma PL now this instruction will be transferred to your microprocessor for execution Next, uh, how to generate the physical address of the stack memory? So, who is going to give the segment address, or the block address of the stack, that is stack segment? And who is going to give, or who is going to store the offset address with the stack memory? That is nothing but SPRPP. So, here also same thing, SS, 16 bit register, segment register, SP or BP, it is also uh, 16 bit offset register. It is an offset. So it's a 16 bit it's also 16 bit it is used to store the block address that is a constant throughout this block and we're going to use spr bp to store 16 bit now it's going to transfer uh, this 4000 once again to the address generator within address generator we have shifter then it's going to shift this number towards left in terms of bits four bits or in terms of x one x day set just it is going to append zero from right side just if you append 0 from here, 4000 becomes 40,000. If it is 2000, it becomes 20,000. If it is 2100, that becomes 21,000. Just to make it simple, just add 0 from right side, that becomes 20 bit. This 20 bit is added with this offset address. The offset address may be in SP or it may be BP in this case. Therefore, the put together, that becomes 41,000. 234 is the actual physical address it select that location then we can transfer this information from the stack memory to your processor 
So just consider this. Assume values in CS and IP. Okay, as shown in the diagram. How to express logical address in this way? CS colon IP. Therefore, CS gives the segment address of the program and IP gives the offset address of the program. So <coughs> here we have to calculate the physical address of this. Therefore, CS and IP, CS contains 2500, 2500 and IP contains 95F3. The offset address contained in IP, we know this number and uh, logical address is CS colon IP. That is this is the format or we can say 2500095F3. The physical address will be that is 2500 just already explained about this. It's going to add 0 from right side that becomes 25000. Then write this number as it is 95F3. Then add both in terms of x. That is 3 plus 0, 3. F plus 0, F. 9, 5 plus 0, 5. Here 9 plus 5 is 14 in decimal. But you are talking about hexadecimal addition. So what is the hexadecimal equivalent of 14E? E. Suppose it is 1, 9 plus 1A. If it is 2, here 9 plus 2, 11B. But here 9 plus 5. What is the sum of these two numbers? 9 plus 5. 9 plus 5 is how much? That is 14. 14 means, what is the hexadecimal equivalent of 14? E. Then here to as it is. Therefore, what is the physical address? The processor will store in this form. The microprocessor will store the physical address in this form because it's not possible to store 20-bit address directly. Okay, it will store separately segment and offset. Therefore, address generator calculates the physical address. It generates the physical address. That is the actual address which contains the actual information. Either it may be data or it may be a code. Here we are talking about program code. So one more example. Calculate the physical address of the instruction. Calculate the physical address of the instruction. Instruction means the program. Therefore, we are going to give the segment address of the program CS and we are going to give the offset address of the program IP. Therefore, we start with CS that is 2500. That 2500 goes to shifter. Therefore, it is going to shift this address towards left that is 1 x basic or 4 bit. Therefore, 2500 becomes 25000. Then add with IP 95F3. Okay, add with this, this one, this. That is uh, in terms of hexadecimal 3 plus 0, 3. EF, here 5, here 9 plus 5 is nothing but how much? That is 14E and here 2. The microprocessor will retrieve the instruction from the memory location starting at 2E, EF5, EF3. This is the actual physical address. Okay. So, one more example. Assume that TS is 5000 and the offset address is 1950. Therefore, we are talking about data memory, data block. What is the segment address of the data block? 5000. What is the offset address of the uh, data? 1950. Nine, nine, Therefore, DS contains segment, offset address is this. Therefore, how to generate physical address? Start with TS, that is 5000. Shift this 5000 towards left by 1x digit. Just append 0 from right side. Therefore, 5000 becomes 50,000. Then add with this offset 1950. That becomes 51,950. This is the physical address of the data memory. Because I want to read data from this location. Actual data is available with uh, inside 51,950. I told you many times. Therefore, it is not possible to store this 51,950 20-bit address directly in the register because all are 16 bit in size therefore we are dividing this address we are storing this address in this form segment and offset but finally we need this only therefore address generator address summer generates this address by using this concept by using address generator a shifter okay that is how to generate a physical address of data so your 32 bit logical address so, I am talking about physical address of data. Data means segment address must be in DS. The offset address may be in SI or it may be in DI or something like that. Therefore, see this is your something like a hardware. But we have to write the appropriate instruction to get the segment address. Okay. So, in the next slide, just look here. How to generate the segment address of data memory. So, I am going to write the instruction like this. Move AX gamma at data. Because we have to load appropriate segment address into DS. By default, DS contains some other, num some other number. So, in this case, suppose I want to transfer data that is 2F to microprocessor. 2F to microprocessor. Therefore, 
what is the segment address of this what is the block address of this memory data memory in this case i have assumed 2000 okay but it may it may be, it may be some other number therefore how to get the segment address which instruction we require to get the segment address of this data memory the procedure is like this move ax comma data if you write move x comma data the add data add data means is going to get the segment address add data is replaced by segment address in this case i have assumed the segment address is 2000 therefore that is add data is replaced by 2000 then if you execute this instruction 2000 goes to ax then move ds comma ax now ds becomes 2000 once if we execute these two instruction it initializes ds that is ds becomes 2000 ds becomes just uh, for example i consider this one okay but actually it may be any other 16 bit uh, address any other 16 bit number okay therefore how to get the segment address or how to initialize data segment that is the way this is the way that is move x comma data means a data means what it gets means it's going to replace a data is replaced by actual segment address so in this case i assume 2000 then we can write now directly what is the problem if you write move ds comma at data what's the problem if you write move ds comma at data what's the problem because at data is replaced by actual segment address that 2000 that becomes immediate operand but the condition is you are not supposed to load immediate data directly into segment register there will be error that's why first move that segment address block address of the data into where into any other 16 bit uh, non segment registers and from non segment register to segment register so that is the thing this is the common thing so when we are writing uh, any program ok assume something is available data is available in the data segment first we have to write these two instructions this is the way of initializing data segment register now ds becomes 2000 next is what is the offset address of that memory 1 2 3 4 what is the segment address of this memory block 2000 the 2000 is constant through this block 64 kilobyte so what is the size of this data block say let it be 64 kilobyte it's a 64 kilobyte what is the block address say 2000 okay what is the offset address of this data 1 2 3 4 therefore the segment address must be in ds how to get segment address how to store the 2000 into uh, ds what are, which instruction we require, we, we require? these two instruction get it okay now here one two three four is the offset address one two three four is the offset address set so store this after offset address in any one of register 16 bit either it may be si or di or bx that's all you are not supposed to use uh, sp or bp or ip and all okay now here move si comma one two three four now si becomes one two three four ds contains two thousand si contains one two three four then if you execute this instruction what happened it will calculate automatically physical address say so now what is si1234 by default by default it gets the segment address from ds that is ds gives segment address by default and si we have to mention explicitly that gives offset address what is the procedure get ds address 2000 2000 becomes 20000 plus si 1234 that becomes 21234 that is a physical address what is the content of 21234 21, that is 2f what is the size of 2f 8 bit data that 8 bit data goes to al what is the meaning of this instruction transfer data from memory if you write some register 16 bit register within square bracket that indicate it refers to memory it behaves like a pointer therefore transfer move means what transfer move means what move data a transfer data from where from memory the square bracket indicates memory from which memory that address is given by si that is offset address there is nothing but offset address if you think in terms of offset address what is that offset address one two three four what is the content of one two three four two f that two f goes to a l a l becomes 2f 
okay what is the physical address of that memory this memory how to calculate physical address i want to know physical address therefore ds gives by default segment address si gives offset address okay whole thing gives physical address go to that location get the data and place the data into al register so this is the way of generating physical address okay for more videos i visit my website and do subscribe for this so thank you uh, in the next in the next lecture i'm going to give still more information thank you